Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade. Your final score here from Armstrong Stadium, Norfolk State Victoria, 17 to 10. We're here with the head coach of Norfolk State University, Coach Latrell Scott. And Coach Scott is almost like our exit interview, as we've done in the last two years. And they've, and they've been under good circumstances. And last year was Morgan State. This year is Hampton, uh, the Battle of the Bay. We win our final two ball games, Coach, and, it, and it's in the style that we weren't doing it at the beginning of the season. We were losing these close games this year. At the end of the year, we win the close games. Talk a little bit about uh, the turnaround from the beginning of the season and the conference season, losing those close games to get into this point. Well, you have to credit the kids for being tough and being resilient. Uh, we, we, we've lost the ball games by seven points, uh, five points, and three points in uh, the last two weeks. We were able to win those types of ball games. Uh, we had to overcome a lot today. You know, a tremendous amount of penalties uh, called, uh, and, and the kids just kept finding a way to make plays uh, defensively. You know, big interceptions. TC runs back a pick for a touchdown. Huge play by Gerard on offense. It's a, it's a total team effort. You know, the guys played extremely hard on special teams. Uh, it's, a, it's a team win, and it's something that we hadn't been able to do. And we talked to our guys this morning about uh, being shareholders in a company uh, and investing all that they had. And, you know, they invested it today. And uh, it's a great win for the seniors, and we'll, we'll keep going in the next season. You talked about the team effort. Uh, Harry Freeman has played well. He didn't start off the season uh, getting that much time. You talk about Gerard Johnson starting off slowly. First 100-game season, 100-yard uh, game this season from your backs. And it seemed like today you put it all together. It was one of those games where you just put everything together. Uh, the passing of the audience wasn't what you wanted, but still you seem to put it all together. Well, you know, you have to credit Hampton defensively. They got after us a little bit, but uh, we, we kept pressing. And, you know, to be able to rush the ball for over 100 yards finally makes it easier. When you can run the ball, it makes play calling. Uh, a ton easier. Um, but like I said, our, our kids made enough plays to win, and uh, we're, we're extremely proud of them for doing so. 222 to be exact, Coach. Uh, rushing tonight, that's a that's a season high, and that's what you want. That's what you want. You want to see those numbers uh, get better as the uh, year goes along. Uh, if, as we look at the season as a whole, peaks and valleys, ebbs and flows, I know I know it's not what you wanted, win-loss total, but what do you see coming out of this year going into going into the spring and uh, to, to the summertime? Well, I, I see a team that has a chance uh, to, to improve next year. Now, you know, having a chance is uh, just a possibility. You know, we'll, we'll start work on our program again on Monday, and uh, it'll be a long off season, long winter, long spring, uh, back until the time we play Virginia State in uh, in August or September 1st, whenever it is. But every uh, everything that we're going to do between now and then is focused on the first game of the season because we have to get better because I, I can't handle personally another one of these seasons. Coach, uh, you talk a little bit about how this thing goes, and uh, you look at guys who come in and help you start your program, and you lose guys like Gerard Johnson. You lose guys like Greg Hankerson, which means meant so much to your offense and what you wanted to do. Uh, now it's pretty much an open race to see what, what you're going to get from those guys. You have Quintrell Chung. You have some young guys at the running back uh, uh, position. Smoke is going to be there next year. Uh, you have an option now, and you're really starting to see what your guys are going to do. Talk a little about uh, what it's like to have those those guys who can help start a program coming into the guys that's going to help build it continuously. Well, whether I recruited them or not, they're all my guys. Uh, Greg Hankerson, uh, Trace Humphrey, Brandon Walker, all those guys are my guys now, and they always will be. And we wouldn't win games like this without those guys because if the seniors that were here when we got it hadn't bought into what we were doing, uh, today wouldn't be possible. We had a great phone message, a video message from Dion King last night. So you have guys even from last year's team that are invested. You know, that there were kids from last year's team that were here today. There were kids that played for us at Virginia State that were here today. So there are a lot of people that support this program and what we do. And uh, we're going to continue building on it by going out and recruiting great student athletes, uh, you know, starting next Sunday. Coach, um, this place is special to you. I know you got your degree from here. This is where your football uh, knowledge really uh, pumped up under Joe Taylor. Uh, to win here, to be 2-0 and against Hampton, that also has to feel good as a feel, well split emotionally uh, as a head coach in Norfolk State. Well, there's no emotion in it for me other than the excitement, but it's not about me. It's about our team because those kids needed to win a football game to, to validate uh, their season and to feel good about themselves. So, you know, it's, it's great for me to win a football game. Uh, you know, Hampton's a special place to me and my family that always will be. But this win isn't about me. We didn't say let's go win this one for coach. We won this one for each other. And uh, you have to credit our staff and our team for doing the right thing. And uh, the other thing I want to make mention of is we've really asked the fans to come out and support uh, football in Hampton Roads and, and both fan bases came out in numbers today. I haven't seen uh, a game at Hampton with people standing around the fence uh, since I played here. So, you know, for both groups uh, to be able to come together and support both teams like that, I think it's great for, for football and hopefully we'll have the same outcome next season.
Exactly right. When it starts at Virginia State, we got a spring ball game. We have a recruiting season coming up. A lot of things coming up here in Norfolk State for the football team. Make sure you log on to NSUSpartans.com for all of the uh, news and notes on Norfolk State University football. But uh, we can come off with a two-game winning streak. You end the season the way you wanted to, Coach. Uh, uh, congratulations on the, the way you finished and this whole season. The ups and downs, you still came out on top at the end, and I know you're excited about that. No question, Ross. Thanks uh, to you and Matt and Mike and the whole sports information staff for uh, supporting us and uh, promoting us all season long, and we'll look forward to doing it again in the spring. No problem. The next and the next time you'll probably hear from Coach uh, on the NSU Sports Network will probably be around signing day. The Spartans had a great signing class last year. Hopefully, we add on to that next year with Coach Scott. Thank you for stopping by and all your time this year. Congratulations to you, your staff, and your players for everything uh, today. The victorious Spartans win 17 to 10 over Hampton. For everyone here, we thank you for watching NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.